Hello everybody, this is Daniel with Dell and Darty, and I have the wrong screen up. You can't see my face. What's going on, guys? How is everyone tonight? I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful night, wonderful evening. And I have my microphone on there. Let's see if I can put the right one in. <laughs> what is going on? What is happening here? I don't know who I am or what I'm up to or what I'm doing, but uh, I guess we'll just keep it on. I'm going to keep the mic on my computer there so because I'm just having a bit of problems there. But hey, I have lots of new equipment here in my office, and, and I am just still trying to get my head around all of it. But little by little during this year, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to see a lot of new improvements here at Del and and you guys are going to be part of it. So let's give you a hand clap there. You guys are all... That's a long applause. <laughs> You're all welcome here. I'm so happy each one is here. We are going to do monochrome painting tonight with the Payne's Blue-Gray watercolor from Daniel Smith. And that's the uh, excitement of this evening. I did a card earlier this week, and I posted it on the blog, sent it out on email to everybody. So you should have seen that one already. And I hope you enjoyed that. But I'm, I've had requests since then to do this live, so I'm going to do it live for you guys tonight. So that's what's on schedule tonight. We're going to use whatever is in the list here. Uh, I posted the list, and if you need the link to these supplies they're right there oh lana i would love to see that art artie's tote bag would you mind coming live coming on here live with me real quick just to show it off i'm going to send you a link just in case if you can't do that let me know but i have a way of inviting folks on here tonight so let me just get that on here I'm just going to publish this link for you, and you can click it if you can come on live. All right? Sounds good. That's so exciting. All you have to do is click that link. That would be wonderful. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see it. I want everyone to see that. All right, if you're new here tonight, my name is Daniel, so you don't know my name, but you do now, and I'm happy you're here. I would love it if you would type the word NEW in all caps with an exclamation point, tell us where you're from. And then we will add that to the uh, screen here tonight. That would be a lot of fun. Let's if you're on Facebook tonight, uh, I would love it if you'd hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed to my uh, email newsletter, all you have to do is text Artie. A-R-T-I-E to 66866 and give them your email address when they reply to you and they will sign you up for getting my emails in uh, your inbox. That'd be awesome. Let's go down to the chat here and see if anybody's come in here and say it said new yet. I haven't seen that. Nope. Not yet, but if you are, I would love to see it. Well, Sophia from Florida. Welcome, Sophia. I'm so happy that you're here. Welcome. Let's give Sophia a hand. All right. <laughs> there you go. Sophia, welcome. I'm so happy you're here with us. God bless you. Welcome also Joanne from Maryland, she says. She put a little red crab up there. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Get a hand clap for you as well. Christine. Ovens from Victoria, B.C., Canada. Equip Canada, yes. <laughs> we love our Canadian friends. Hi, Bon Bon, all the way from Florida. Freshly back from a trip. Welcome. And if you want to get that tote bag, you can go to this. Uh, let's see if I, I think I typed in. I think I've got it right here. Let's see. You go to that link right there where it says merch, and you'll be able to get you a tote bag. Let, and that helps support my channel, so I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. I'm happy to have Jess here. She is a fantastic artist, and I would love it if she could click that link and pop in, and I could say hi to her. That would be fun. How many would you like to meet Jess? She is fantastic. 
Let's see. Lana is joining us in. Let's bring Lana on. Hi, Lana. Am I saying your name right? Let's get... Is it Lana or Lana? Yes, it is Lana. Nice Lana. to meet you, finally. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Look at that smile. Oh, my God. That. You totally cut me off guard like I'm not ready at all but, but look okay. how fast you came on and how how professional you look <laughs> yeah so how many want to see the tote bag that Lana got and and uh she got it off of the merch website would you hold that up for us we want to see it I haven't Let's even gotten see. mine yet. okay so I'm very very excited oh what does it say what does it say on the front of it it says, I'm a total arty. Uh, you know, I am having some horrible delays here. Yeah, that's all right. I got you. <laughs> How many love that? Let's give her a round of applause. So, Lana, tell us a little bit about your crafty style. What is your favorite way to play in your craft room? Let's see. I don't know. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you awesome. It's just that uh, it is, there's a horrible delay and I don't know, I'm about probably like two minutes in the, uh, behind. Okay, but you can, but whatever you hear, can you hear that like instantly? This is the first time I've done this, so. <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little bit about your uh, favorite way of crafting. Okay, so what do I like to do? I um, <laughs> you see how how um, what a delay. Okay, so what do I like to do? Um, depends on the mood. Um, I like to use my Cricut machine a lot, um, and I do like stamps. Nice. And That's I fun. like coloring, and you're such an inspiration. Absolutely. Oh, I love you. watching your shows. They're really helpful, and I learned a lot from you how to use um, Copic markers and uh, I have to say that, um, let me see, I have to stop for a while. For a second. Where's Lana? <laughs> Isn't this fun, I'm guys? <laughs> it's uh, these awesome Arteza markers that I got because of you. Yay. You uh, showed me how to use these. And for all the new artists, I have to tell you guys, this is a wonderful show to watch because uh, you will learn a lot from Daniel. He's right. that awesome, awesome teacher. Well, thank you so much, Lana, for hanging out with us. Show us that toad again one more time. Everyone's been asking about it, and I'm so excited to see one of the arties with it in their hands. That's awesome. I'm a total artie, she says, and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for joining me there, Lana. And if anyone else wants to pop in, you're welcome to pop in and uh, say hi. I'll have you over here waiting in the room next to me if you like. Isn't that fun? Uh, if you wanted to pop in, I think I can just uh, add that link there for you again. That would be fun. Let's see. That's if you want to be a guest tonight. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, isn't that awesome? And so if you wanted to grab one of those and, and support the channel tonight, that'd be fun. Also, if you want to throw Daniel a tip tonight, you can do it this way. Um, just click that link, and that's a lot of fun. All right, but all of that's out of the way. Thank you. Welcome all the new arties. We're so happy you're here. And uh, it's a real, real joy to have each one of you. I've seen lots of questions coming up here. Raina says hi to everyone. She's picking up her dog from the vet. Wanted to pop on. Oh, I'm so happy you popped on, Raina. 
And those are brush markers from Arteza. Yep, those are Artezas. And I saw another comment up here. Up, up, up a little bit. Nope. I think I got them all that I was uh, wondering about. I appreciate that, April. Thank, thank you very much. Well, um, I have a new Mac Mini that I've been working with, and I just need a couple more slots for it So, in order to do my whole production here. Uh, <laughs> so fun. Okay. You guys ready to turn the camera down, and we will go to the workspace here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button and hit the bell as well so that you get notifications when I go live. All right. Okay. I'm going to get my keyboard out of the way. And let's bring over my stamps and supplies for tonight. And we'll just straighten up my workspace here a little bit for you guys. Now, this is what we're going to be playing with tonight. I have the dies from this uh, stamp set called You're My Universe. That's named after one of the sentiments in here. And this uh, stamp set is a Hero Art stamp set CM456. It has a sun, uh, stylized stars, has a clouds, and a moon with a star and a star burst right there. Isn't that fun? Some really great sentiments, follow your dreams is the one I used out of here. You are my universe, never stop looking up, and you are my moon and stars, right? And we're going to play with some Payne's Blue Gray. This is a Daniel Smith extra fine watercolor in a liquid. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Sherry. Appreciate that. That's been very, very all right, everybody knows I do a book. Room. <laughs> no worries, Jess. I'm always happy to, to have a guest on if I can. All right, and I have these beautiful, beautiful silver black velvet brushes here that I like to use. I got these two for Christmas this year. And they are not cheap. These are a little bit expensive, and I'm just wanting to let you guys know. So, someone has asked me in the group or in my email, uh, are these worth it? And for me, they're worth it because I play with a lot of watercolor, and I want to do the best job I can with my watercolor. I want to get the best result possible. Now, if you are just a, a playing with those, you know, and you're not super serious and it's not a big deal to you, you know, get you any kind of watercolor set. But the, these are really, it's like the difference if you're going to drive a, are you going to drive a Toyota Corolla or are you going to drive a Cadillac, you know what I'm saying, or something substantial. So, uh, Raina has these on her wish list. <laughs> Sandy, someone sent me a $5 uh, super chat, and so I, I dance when someone sends me a tip, and it's very kind of them. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so, besides that, I also have a half pan of this Payne's Blue Gray got for Christmas. I'm going to put that right there. I have my uh, EK powder tool for embossing right here. I have two cups of water, one for the first wash and the second for the second wash to clean out my brushes with. I have this Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink we're going to use tonight. Maybe. Maybe. We don't have to. I have my Mini Misty here from Hero Arts. I have my Gemini Junior plates with a magic mat from scrapbook.com. This keeps you from ruining your plates and I'm gonna use Stonehenge aqua cold press watercolor paper here tonight aren't they awesome Jess I just saw that that uh, Sherry put up there that she bought them and now she says she can't wait to get them and I am so excited that you did that Sherry I hope you will love them as much as I do and you'll get you'll just use the heck out of them all right now I have in my pocket here a little knife. 
I just bought this new pad of, the, of Stonehenge watercolor paper. Let me show you how to open this up. When I first started watercolor, I had no idea that watercolor paper, the good stuff, came gummed together in a book like this, right? These are gummed together, and you just take a craft knife. This is a slice knife. It's a porcelain knife, so it's not as, not as dangerous, I guess, to use as maybe a, a straight edge blade. And just uh, start your, your sheet like that. I'm going to come over here as well. Let's get the corner going. And once you get one corner up, you can you can basically, if you want, you could pull it up. I'm going to be a little. Oh, thank you, Lisa, crafty girl. Time to dance for that. Ooh, happy New Year to me. Thank you very much, Lisa. You are awesome. Very kind to send me a super chat. Thank you very much. Or a tip. I'm not sure where you sent that. Did you do it on uh, YouTube or did you do it on uh, Streamlabs? I have two ways you can do it. If you're on Facebook, you might want to just use the Streamlabs. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very kind of you. All right. I will get that piece of paper out of there, I promise. Now make sure I only got one, right? I only got one. Slice was kind enough to send me those blades. They sent me two different kinds. And I'm going to use my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. And I'm going to cut this panel down to a more manageable size. There's a little bit of gum on this edge, so I'm just going to trim that off and trim this one off. And you guys are going to fall in love with this. If you haven't already, you're going to fall in love with this Payne's Blue-Gray watercolor. All right. Now, we're not doing specifically, we're not going to do some... Um, detailed watercolor here tonight. We're going to do a, a background, which is super simple, super easy, and super fun. All right. Ha, oh, thank you, Lisa. It's very kind of you to say that. I love to hear that you guys are learning stuff from me. Oh, Sherry, you got the, you got the Daniel Smith watercolors too. I'm just going to take a little bit of this out, just push it a little bit like that. See how I just pushed a little bit out, and I'm just going to smush it down into my little well there in the middle. Put my lid back on. Now, Sherry asked me why I would need the tube and the half pan at once, and I'll show you why. I'll show you why in a bit. All right? First, I'm just going to... Spray that together, spray that down. I'm just going to mix it together with my brush. And I'm going to leave that watercolor on there because there's no reason to wash that out right now, right? I'm just going to leave that right there. Now, I like to use these big silver black velvet brush, this one right here, because the bristles don't tear and pull at the paper so you're not going to get the pilling you know the pilling of the paper is the pits so I'm just going to wet my brush did you hear me with that alliteration <laughs> yeah it's a uh, let me just say it's not it's not any harder to use these paints than it would be any other watercolor. In fact, I think it's easier to use them. I'm just gonna really wet my brush and get a nice layer of water here. Oh man. Thank you, Kristen. Ooh. Up. 
I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. I just want you to see the amount of water I have on there. See how wet that is? It's got water nearly standing on it, right? I've got a little piece of fuzz that's actually kind of floating on the amount of water I have there. And that's what I want, right? I just dropped my project on the my workspace, but it's okay. I got a little bit of Payne's Blue Gray there. But who cares, because that's what we're going to put on there anyway, right? And now I'm just going to take my big, my big wide brush, and I'm going to dip it into my paint, my water a little bit, and then my paint here. And then I'm just going to add this to the cardstock like that. Right? Like that. Isn't that beautiful? Not really, not yet, but watch. I'm just going to take it and let it drop a little bit like here. And then I'm going to take my other brush, get it nice and wet, and then just let this uh, watercolor pour down the top of this page, this panel, right? And I can add a little bit more water there. I really want texture in here, you know? I want some texture in here. There's a lot of pigment right there. So I'm just gonna wet that and then pull that pigment out, right? And then I'm going to pick up a little more pigment and drop it into my project. Like that. Make it darker on the top. And then it's going to get lighter as it goes down the page. See? Super simple. Super duper simple. I am trouble, Jess. Let me tell you, I will get you in trouble. I am not, as I tell all the Arties, I am not a financial advisor. <laughs> all right, watch this. Now I'm just going to dry this panel after I plug in my heat tool. All <laughs> All right, now I'm just see a little bit of a little spot there that didn't get any color on it. I'm going to make two panels, so one here at the bottom is going to be. Sorry, let's not cover the project though. Isn't that beautiful? And it really is super, super simple. I mean, you just can't get easier than that. Just putting down some water, dropping in some paint, and moving it around a little bit, right? Not hard at all. Not had, it's not had at all. All right. Now I can darken this up if I want, and I do, I do want. So I'm just gonna grab my uh, wide brush again, and just gonna drop in some more paint there, like that. 
I'm going to come all the way down here as well. Drop that in. Now see how that is not as uh, light as I would like, of course. I'm just going to come in and pick some of that up. I can pick some of that up with my rag here. Just dot it down like that. And then do the same here with this one. Just going to add a little bit of paint to this one here. Down to the bottom. I'm going to cut these in half and you'll see what I'm doing. Okay, so we have two panels here, you just don't know that yet, right? We have one that starts here and goes up, and one starts here and goes down. All right, I'm going to take my trimmer out. And I'm going to cut this one in half. Sorry about that squeal there, that was kind of awful. And let's get that right there. Is that about it? We'll go there. That's about half. It doesn't have to be half exactly. We just want a, a nice panel to work with. I'm going to put this one aside. It can finish drying over there. Now I want to make sure this is really dry because we're going to heat emboss on it. Yes, a beautiful stormy sea, right? A stormy sky over a sea. Beautiful. Yes, this is not cheap watercolor paper either, so just be warned. Um, Christ Kirsten was asking for me to share the brush brand, and I've actually linked it in the list there. There's a link under, under your last post, Kirsten, and you can uh, catch the... You can catch the... Uh, all the supplies and names of the brushes that I'm using right there. Watch this. I'm just going to darken this up a little bit more because someone just said it dries lighter than, I, than they expected, and that's true. So I'm just going to come in and grab some of my color and then add it to the top. I really want it to be darker on the top. Now, I wet the whole thing because I don't want any harsh lines when it dries watercolor will the pigment will kind of gather at the edge if you're not careful so here I just uh, wet the whole thing and then it will spread to the edge I can actually add all the details I want in there and lighten that up a little bit there And I can make it as dark as I want up here. And then down at the bottom, just kind of pick up spots here and there to lighten that up. All right, now it's got a better gradation in it for me. I like it. Yes, those brushes are a little expensive. <laughs> Yeah. So if you're not wanting to go all in with the brushes, just play around with the brushes you have. That's what I did until I wanted to go into another kind of uh, quality of brushes. So 
All right. Now I'm going to dry. I have to dry this again because we're going to heat emboss, right? Okay, Jody, we're going to miss you. Okay, so you see it, as I darken the top, it just gets better. And you just play with it, play with it until you're happy. Usually watercolor works in layers, so you're going to darken things up as you go. And be patient there. All right. All right, now I'm going to put this in my Misty. And we're going to add it some stars. All right. So let's get our stars image out of here. I love this uh, little array of flourish of stars. I'm going to put one going off the page right there. Treat my panel first. That powder helps me to keep the, the embossing powder where I want it and not where I don't, right? That's smart, Jesse. Yeah. Paper first. Paper is so important. If you get the wrong paper, you're just not going to have any fun at all. All right. Now I need my embossing ink. I have my Versamark here. All right. You guys keep the conversation going because the more you the more you talk, the more entries you'll have in the giveaway tonight, right? So if you Every comment is an entry into the giveaway. So keep the conversation lively and fun. All right. Yes, Maureen, exactly. It works just the same. I have a few different uh, anti-static powder tools. Now I like to ink this up three or four times just to get a really good coverage there. Get my coffee filter out and some silver embossing powder from Hero Arts. And we will melt this first. Let's pull this back. You guys are going to love the result, I promise. If you don't, I'll give you your money back. Ha ha ha! That was funny. I made a joke. Alright, watch this turn nice and silvery. See that? And it's actually fine if you have some stragglers there on this embossing job because it, it kind of adds to the look, right? Yeah, if there are any lurkers here tonight, we love you guys. We love all of the lurkers, too. You're welcome to be here as well. We just would really love it if you commented. It really does help support the channel The uh, when you comment, even. That is a fun way to support the channel. So, go for it. All right. Now I flip that over and I'm going to add this to the other side of my panel. And some of this is going to be covered up with uh, the moon that I'm, I'm going to put up here in the clouds. But that's okay. We just want a nice flourish of stars on here. Hi, Preeti. Good to see you. So I'm going to do this four times. Hey, Bonbon. Bonbon, bon, what are you looking at? What big eyes you have. Tracy, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> 
Sometimes I use a stamp set because I absolutely love the stamp set. Sometimes I use it because it's new and I love it. Um, this one is not a new stamp set. It's actually been out for quite a while. At least a year, I would think. Maybe maybe not even a year. But it, um, it is one of my favorites, so that's why I'm using it tonight. I've never used it until this week, and I just, I don't know why I've never used it. I just loved it. Yes, Jess, thank you very much. Appreciate you answering questions in there, Elizabeth. If you guys know what's going on, and I'm not paying attention, or I didn't see a, a question, please hop in. You guys help each other out. So we're making a monochromatic card. That means it's just one color. And we're going to use some silver embossing powder, of course. So look at those flourishes. Aren't those beautiful? I love that sky. Maureen, if you miss a stamp set that sells out quickly, you may be able to find it uh, on eBay. I can't imagine they would have that one yet on eBay because it just was fantastic and it's brand new, so I don't know how they would have gotten it yet. But if you're patient a little bit and wait for it, you may be able to get it there. But um, I always advise my parties to, when they see something they like, to hop on it because if you don't, you're going to end up missing out. I know that sometimes you can't get it right when it comes out, but... If you can, boy, it's good to do it when you when you can, if you really want something. I'm going to put that aside real quick, and I'm going to stamp out the cloud images and the moon on some more. This is a scrap piece of the watercolor paper that I was using. So I'm just going to heat emboss these with the uh, silver embossing powder. And I'm putting these on this watercolor paper as close as I can because I don't want to cut another piece up. This stuff's like gold. So you don't want to waste it. I tell you that much. So the, the mountain one that you were talking about... Maureen, I think, Maureen Suzanne, I think that's from Tonic, if I'm not mistaken. And that is an exclusive to Tonic. The only way you're going to get it is if you're fast and get it when it comes out, because those are a club, and they come out, and they're a limited edition, and they don't come back. So, And Hero Arts only redoes a kit if it wins the the kid of the year from the viewers so we do have a new kit coming out from hero arts this weekend well on monday and you are going to want to hop on that thing like white on rice because it is going to fly just like the last one flew this one's going to fly Oh, Jess, that'd be awesome. Jess is an artist. Like, she can draw and do all kinds of fun things. When you're as talented as Jess, you don't necessarily need stamps. <laughs> I'm sure she plays plenty of them. Oh, wow, Karen, that's awesome. That is awesome. I have several... Hero Arts wood mounted stamps behind me on my cabinet and in my stash because I get all the new ones that are produced being on the creative team. Isn't that cool? I haven't seen Libby in here tonight. She may be lurking though. I don't know, Libby, if you're here, 
we're talking about you. So on my blog, you can see a sneak peek of this kit. And if you comment now, you may win it before it, before it releases. So I'm, now I'm just going to melt these. And I'm going to take my number six brush here. This is a Payne's uh, blue gray ink in there, or the watercolor, remember? I've got that in there. And I was hoping to use that. So let's lace. Oops, it dried on me. Okay, I'm going to have to pick it up like that. So I don't want to waste that watercolor. So I'm just going to lay it out here on the side. And then we're going to watercolor these little images. So I'm going to zoom in real quick. Zoom in. All right. Now I'm just going to drop in some of this water. Some of it's, it's going to be colored blue a little bit. Just a tiny bit, maybe. Just going to drop the water in there. that on each one I can't talk and paint at the same time so <laughs> now if you can tell let's see if I can hold this up so you can see how much water is on there let's see see it's almost a standing amount of water on there but I don't want it to actually stand on there. So there's, see this right here, there's just the right amount on the middle cloud, just the right amount. I'm gonna add a little bit more here underneath there, right there. I really don't want it to stand on my cardstock, so I'm just gonna take some of the water out of the moon and by drying off my brush, I'm able to turn it into a sponge. And now I have just a glistening amount. See that, it's just a glistening amount of water on my project. And then I can just take a little bit of the watercolor and drop it into spaces that I want to drop it in on. Like that. And it'll do its own job of spreading around so I don't have to spread it myself. All right, same thing over here. I'm going to come in underneath these folds in the clouds, all along the bottom of the cloud as well. I'm just going to add some color into different places in there. As I like, as I see fit. Now this will dry a lot lighter than it is now. So you're just getting the effect of the blue, but I mean, you're seeing it pretty dark in there right now, but it's not going to actually dry that dark. It's just going to give you the hint of that color in there. All right. Okay. All right. And if you think it's a little too dark in any place, you can just take your rag and try to pick it up where you think it's too dark. And if it's still too dark, just take a little bit of water and reactivate it, and then pick it back up. So I dry my dry my brush off on my rag there, and just come back in and pick up what I don't want to leave behind. See? Isn't that fun? Hey Tiffany, welcome my friend. Happy 2021. Jess has all the info for you guys on that. Awesome. Okay. So now I'm just gonna dry this and then we'll die cut them.
<laughs> Tracy says it needs glitter. All right, now I'm going to get my dies out here. Thanks, Tracy. I have my mood and my two clouds like this. Get some purple tape there. All right, Lisa bought a totally, I, I'm a total arty tote and one other merch. Well, thank you so much. Let's give a dance for that. Thank you very much, Lisa. That is very kind of you. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. I should always cut my tape before I position it. I don't know why I don't do that. Get it in there like that. I don't... I want to show my big bald head in the camera. <laughs> All right. Let's cut another piece before we go to the clouds. I'll cut that one in half. So we'll do this one. This one. Oh, you know what, guys? I didn't tell you, but um, I was really excited on Friday when I got a brand new vehicle. I've never had a new car in my life, and uh, I didn't actually buy it. It's actually... Uh, for my use, but um, it belongs to the church. But it's nice to get to drive a brand new car. Isn't that cool? Very, very kind of the elders to think of me in that way, to care enough to buy me a, a vehicle to use. So I've been sporting around in my new car. You guys want to know what it kind I got? You don't want to know that, do you? Melanie, no. It, not all of my packages have arrived. How about you guys? You guys waiting on anything? I'm sure you are. Yes, it's a Hyundai Santa Fe. That's what I got, a Hyundai Santa Fe. It was very kind of them to do that for me. I was godsmacked. Bon Bon, I know you were sick the other day. What's going on? Are you okay? Are you feeling any better at all, my friend? There's so much junk going around right now. Let's see. Let's hopefully I won't tear my project. That's why I try to heat these a little bit. But not too much. Oh, Lana, this uh, Santa Fe has everything in it. Like, all these options. Crazy stuff. Like, I can see my speed in the windshield. I've never seen that before. It projects my, my uh, speed right up in front of me in a tiny spot on the windshield. It tells me whether I should go left or right. It has cameras, like 360-degree cameras. It has all the options. They were very, very generous and very kind to me.
very, very, very kind. All right. I know that not everyone in the world gets treated like I do. And I am very, very thankful for it. Super duper thankful. All right. <laughs> well, it's easy for me, but I'm young and spry. <laughs> Not really young. I'm only 46. It cannot parallel park itself. But I am a pro at that, so. That would be really cool. A really cool option. Yes, it was a huge blessing. Absolutely. Alright, so I just trimmed down a panel of Nina Silver White cardstock. And. I am going to score it down the middle here. The big bottle of Tullamore Dew, huh? <laughs> I didn't see, Bonnie, if you were feeling any better at all, my friend. All right, let's get this to lay down like this. And I just am going to glue this panel down to the front of my car like this. Melanie is two years younger than me. Nice. You're a spring chicken. <laughs> Oh, that's good, Bonnie. I'm sure you feel terrible, though. Is it just a cold or flu? Do you know what it is? I know the last time we talked, you weren't sure what it was. All right, let's see. My trimmer. Susan's a little older. <laughs> I, f I don't feel old, like I still feel like I'm a, a teen, not a teenager, but I feel like I'm in my 20s or 30s still. But I'm reminded every time I try to be cool that I'm not, especially when I'm in front of my kids. They're, they roll their eyes at me. All right, let's get our, our sentiment down here before we go any further. This is the one I use, and I really like it because it's uh, just all the same height, right? So let's get my mini misty out again. Zoom out again. Karen likes it just like that, huh? <laughs> All right. We're gonna add a sentiment, and we're gonna pop up the moon and the and the clouds on here. This sentiment says, "Follow your dreams." Make sure it's nice and level in there. Tracy, I used to hate it too, and I'm not a super big fan of it, but sometimes I don't mind. I've kind of learned to live with it. I do have a scan and cut, and a pair of scissors too, in case I want to actually just uh, fussy cut something. Alright, and some foam tape. Okay. 
Do I have any handy here? I've got to be careful getting into my Jenga game of craft supplies over here. Things start falling over. <laughs> I'm just going to tear this piece of this uh, foam tape off. And get a pair of scissors. I'm going to cut a thin strip of this for my moon. Peel the back off, and when you do that, you can turn the uh, the foam tape easier. It's going to pop that up right there, and then the cloud. We're going to put one down here. Oh my gosh, I am the opposite of an athlete. You just look up the opposite of an athlete, and you'll see. I don't know, what's the opposite of athlete? What's the word that... <laughs> I've never been an athlete. I mean, I tried when I was a kid. I did my best. I think the best sport, the sport I was good at or best at was baseball because it's not super demanding physically. <laughs> but... <laughs> sloth, Lana says sloth, yeah, I am not good at sports, my kids on the other hand love sports, and I've just never been interested in it, I don't, like if someone brings up sports as a topic, I just can't talk about it, I don't know anything about it, not really, because I don't keep up with it, I mean I know the rules of baseball, I can play, uh, I can watch soccer with my boys because they love that. But I'm just not good at it. I'm not good at it. I don't know much about it. I'm going to put that guy right there. And guess what we're going to do with this big one? We're going to cut it in half. So I'm going to put it right here. We'll do this. like that, right? Watch what I do with this. This is so cool. When I did it, I, I totally impressed myself when I did this, and I loved it. <laughs> Hi, Brayna, welcome. Okay, I'm just going to put that right there, right? But then I'm going to take the snips, and I'm going to cut. Let's get the bigger ones. I'm going to cut this side off right here like that and we'll put the other side let's put it right right there you know what I'm just gonna, I'm not going to use the foam tape I'm just going to glue it right to it Now, if that's not genius, I don't know what it is. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, right? I'm not tr <laughs> I just said that so I could do that. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. But I think that looks really cool. <laughs> Jess never cuts things. Hey, Marcy Joe, How you doing? So what do you think? Do you like this card design, guys? I love it. What a fun, fun design. Now, someone said it needed some sparkles, some um, some glitter, but I'm thinking I like it just like that. It's got all of the, the shine you need from the embossing powder. The moon has shine. The clouds have shine. It's just, a, I love the whole setup. I love the whole darn thing, right? Very, very fun. All right, now, uh, I think we have time to do something else, right? We got time? If you don't have time, you can, you can go to bed. <laughs>
but I want to show you how I did this vignette. So I'm going to show you how to do a vignette really quick with watercolor. Just a, a monochromatic vignette. I'm just going to wet my whole paper here, my whole project. See, I got a stray hair there from my brush, stray bristle. Now, if you want, you can tape this project down. I'm not going to bother doing that. So there's my first layer, right? But while it's still wet, I'm just going to, I want it to be nice and wet, right? While it's still wet, I'm just going to take some of my watercolor here that I have on the side. And I'm going to start layering in on my project the strong pigment, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm losing some of my brush, my bristles there. Alright, so I got a nice healthy amount of water on there. And now I'm going to come back with my tube of watercolor. And I'm going to wet it just a little bit. And while the whole project is still wet, let's add some more water in there. I'm just going to drop in on the edges here. Drop in strong pigment on the edges of my project. Because it's all still wet, it'll still disperse across the page. Right? It'll still pull it in. Right? Alright, let's put that there. My other big brush. I'm just going to kind of wet this here in the middle a little more to try to pull some of that into the center. A little more. You see how the watercolor is pulling into the center now? It's starting to move into the middle, right? Isn't that beautiful? I just love how it looks. It actually, where I have my finger, kind of looks like the moon in there. <laughs> All right. There's the list for you guys. If you're looking for the, the products. And if you can find it cheaper on Amazon, you can just uh, use my Amazon link there and try to go find it over there on Amazon. Isn't that fun? Now, this is not how I would end up with it because I would actually want to continue um, working this. So I can take my brush and move some of this pigment out from the edge and toward the center if it's not moving enough. Okay. I don't want my pigment to cake up there so it'll 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 uh, dry and be shining. We don't want that. So we're going to move some of this out of the edge and then I will dry it and we can start the process again. I don't know why that it's so hard to move. <laughs> All right. I'm starting the middle and dry out toward the outside.
Okay, isn't that fun, Maureen? Maureen says she'd like to have classes three times a week. <laughs> All right, so I have to uh, wet this again. And we just start the process over because we do this in layers. If we do it in layers, you'll get, you'll see it looks even better because you can get some depth in your color. So let's just uh, wet the whole page again with the broad brush. This is one and a half inch brush. All right. And then we can come in and just darken up the edges again. To me, this is just a lot of fun and playing, so I'm not a professional watercolorist, guys. This is more for us crafters having fun with expensive stuff. <laughs> mm. I haven't tried other brands of Payne's Blue Gray either, so I'm thinking I may go ahead and try to find another brand. There are other brands I know. So, uh, Daniel Smith is just what I started out with. So. All right. Payne's Blue Gray, that's what I need, she says. <laughs> Let me clean up my mess a little bit here, and then we'll talk a bit about why I would need a half pan as well, um, or why I wanted a half pan as well. You can create a half pan with just your uh, tube, so if you can get some watercolor pan sets that are empty, you can squirt out your tube into your half pan, and it'll dry in there like a little cake, right? So you don't actually have to buy one of these if you don't want to. I asked for it, and I asked for both of these when I put my Christmas list together, and my wife was just buying them both to make me happy, so <laughs> she's so sweet. So we have the tube, and then you have a dried one in order to get more control when you go in with some detail to paint. Let's see. I don't have my other panel handy here. See if I have the panel over here that I can just grab real quick, but uh, I don't have it handy, so I'm not going to try to go get it for you guys. But but so there's my vignette 
and I would stamp my floral image here and then paint it with uh, the same watercolor that I was using already, right? So if you want to see me do that, uh, I can start one real quick. Let's see if I have my big stamp and then let's do real quick. So if I take this out, put that right inside there. Get my Gina K Amalgam ink out. This is waterproof, alcohol proof. I'm just going to lay that kind of right in the center there. I think the uh, paper is still a little damp, so. We'll see how well I can get this image laid down on damp watercolor paper. <laughs> So I'm not going to get a perfect image there, but that's perfectly fine. Maybe that's what I was going for, right? Maybe that's what I wanted. And then you take your brush. And since the paper is a little damp, you're not going to need too much water. But you just go section by section. I'm just going to take a little section, wet one of these petals enough to have it glistening, not uh, standing water on there, but glistening, glistening wet. And then I'm going to take some Payne's Blue Gray, just add it into the edge there and watch the, watch the watercolor disperse into the petal. See that? So this stamp set is a Hero Arts and Gina K collaboration stamp set called Friendship Blooms. Now once you, you've done that pedal, you're not going to want to do the pedal right next to it. Just go up to another pedal. That's uh, skip a pedal and go to the next one. And then grab some more Payne's Blue Gray. <coughs> and drop it in there. And just repeat the process because you're doing a monochrome look here you're not actually you don't actually need more than one watercolor right so I got too much on that one too much water so I just dry my brush and come in and pick it back up it's like a sponge and then get some paints blue gray there and add your concentration where you want it to be the darkest and it will spread. The watercolor will spread. If you want to help it spread a little more, you need to wet your paper up there and then come in and just touch the, the watercolor and it'll spread for you. See that? Name for the painter William Payne. That's interesting. I was wondering where the name came from. can already tell that when this dried back it uh, really dried back so you're gonna let it dry a few times and then come back in and let uh, add some more layers until it's as dark as you like okay. it's not hard at all guys it's not hard at all. All right, let's come in and we'll find another disconnected blossom from the others. Let's put 
up some pigment there and drop it in. Now this is where having one of these little half pans dry comes in handy, right? So once that's already where you want it, maybe you wanted some more concentration of this, a higher concentration. So just wet your, your uh, half pan, take some really concentrated pigment in your brush, and then just kind of drop it into the edge there, right along the very edge of it, right? So you're going to get a lot more pigmentation right there at the bottom. All right. Same here. And these uh, petals are still a little wet, so that will continue to disperse throughout the petal. See how that's moving a little bit there? That's what you want. That's, what, that's how I do it anyway. So, someone else may do it better than I do. But you're not watching someone else tonight. <laughs> you're watching me. I'm all I'm all there is at Delinardi on Delinardi Live for the painting part. <laughs> of course I could pull in a guest and have them paint live for us. That would be fun. Alright, so then I want a little more on that petal. So you can just continue to darken it up as much as you like. Anyway. I already did this and I posted the the results on my blog, but I had embossed it, so this is not heat embossed. I just wanted to show you the the process there that I used. And that's why I have a, a half pan and not just my tube of paint. Alright? Are you guys ready for a giveaway? Are you ready? If you haven't said anything tonight, if you're a lurker. You're welcome to chime in. All you have to do is say anything like, I love Daniel, like he's the best. Or I'm headed to get me some of that merch over there on uh, Daniel Streamlabs site. Or I need to give him a tip tonight because my head is full of knowledge that wasn't there before this live episode. So if you want, if you're getting any value out of tonight, um, would you please consider subscribing to my channel? If you uh, would also hit that like button, that would be awesome. I would appreciate that. And if you want to shop tonight, I'd appreciate it if you use my links. All right. So in the the uh, in the uh, comments there, you can grab all of the supplies that I use tonight. Should be right there in that list. I think maybe the stamps, this stamp set is not in that list, but um, you can find that on Hero Arts. Just type in Gina K and you'll find it there. <coughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Look what I've got. Did I show you guys this yet? Because you guys said I should do some podcasting or some voice work. I bought a professional mic and a setup to connect with my MacBook, and I'm going to be doing another YouTube channel just to read and people like my voice, so I guess I'm going to use it for that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? <laughs> ah, Brandon, you're too kind. The Bob Ross of card making work. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Want more videos like this? Hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And hit the bell so you get notifications when I go live. All right. And if you aren't subscribed to my email list, text Artie to 66866, and you will be subscribed once you give them your email address. All right. <laughs> That's for my singing career, Bonnie says. Um, <laughs> That's funny. I do like to sing, but I don't know if I'll ever make a career out of that. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, I was so happy to have Lana show off her, her uh, I'm an arty. I'm a total arty tote bag. It's so cool. Hi, Paula Butterworth. I'm happy to see you chime in there. And I'm happy Nicole is, is here tonight. So nice to have you here. Hi, Carol. And Bon Bon. I hope you feel better soon, Bonnie. 
Mary says, I'm an arty. Melanie says, professor. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, Melanie. I love you guys. I really appreciate every one of you being here with me tonight because without Artie, there's no Del and Artie, right? I'd just be sitting here and tinkering with my paints all by myself. So thank you for being here with me. All right. Jess has something sent to me in my IG messages. So if you want to connect with me on Instagram, just go to Instagram.com slash Del and Artie. Same on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Del and Artie. You can catch me on Pinterest at Pinterest.com slash guess what? Del and Artie. And uh, you can read more about Del and Artie on Del and Artie.com. All right. Thank you all for being here. Thank you so much. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick a winner. I'm going to pick a winner. I am going to pick a winner. Um, you guys want to see my... Before I do that, you want to see something? I, I want to show you something. Let's see. MP4. I thought I had it over here. <laughs> ah, yeah, there it is. This is funny. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> That's my favorite funny face that I make. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? All right. <laughs> that was free, guys. All right. Here's the winner of tonight's giveaway. What is the winner going to win? The winner is going to win the card that I made tonight. Isn't that cool? What a great prize. I think this is a fun, 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 fun prize. And if you don't like my card, well, I don't know what to tell you. What do you like? You probably don't like puppies either. You know? If you don't like my project, do you also not like puppies? So the winner is going to receive this card here tonight. And I think it's a fantastic prize. Uh, thank, thanks, Jess. Jess likes it. This is my face. Can you guys do it? Can you make that face? <laughs> Someone's going to screenshot that and then post it everywhere. All right. The winner of tonight's giveaway, I am going to my restream chat line here, and it's going to pick a winner from every single comment. All right, I'm going to go up and down, letting you guys see a little bit of my computer space tonight. And I'm just going to stop it right, who did it stop on? Tracy Steinbach. Tracy, you are the winner of the card tonight. All you have to do to claim your prize is to go to uh, your email and send an email to delanardi at gmail.com and with your name and address, tell me I won the follow your dreams card tonight and if you don't send it to me now, I'm coming to your house. Send me something like that. And uh, <laughs> I really appreciate it, guys. Last week, someone sent me, I think it was, her name was Patricia, sent me a uh, $20 tip right at the very end of the show, and I just want to say thank you very much for that. Uh, I wasn't able to say thank you in time because the show was ending right as the notification came through, but thank you so much for that donation. It was very kind of you. It helps me to keep the lights on at Del and Artie Studios. All right. Congratulations, Tracy. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all. Happy New Year. And I will see you guys. You know what? I'll be live on Monday. I'll be live on Monday at 1 p.m. ish uh, Eastern time to with a video. So I'll have a video, and then I'll come on live, and we'll play with the, the New Hero Arts kit together. How about that? And... Uh, That'll be Monday, and then on uh, next Saturday, I'll be live again. So God bless you all, and have a wonderful night. 
If you have any questions, I'm just going to put some music on now and you guys can uh, text me, but I won't be talking, all right? There we go. All right. 